Hi, welcome to my channel Mathematics Made Easy by Mary MJ. Today I am discussing class 11 chapter 10 straight lines. We are continuing the exercise 10.2. Question number 15. The perpendicular from the origin to a line meet at the point minus 2 9. Find the equation of the line. Question once again perpendicular from the origin to a line. So this is the origin from there the perpendicular to the line meets at the point minus 2 9. We are supposed to find out the equation of the line. So uh, let the origin be 0 0 be the origin and P be the given point. This is P this is O and slope of OP what is the slope of OP? Slope of OP is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is minus 9 by 2 is the slope of OP. So uh, the perpendicular to this line OP will be having the slope as a negative reciprocal. So suppose this line is RS. So what is the slope of RS? Slope of RS is equal to 2 by 9 negative reciprocal. So we got the slope of Rs and also a point on that line. So we can find out the equation of the line using point slope form and the equation of the line is therefore equation of the line of the line is y minus y1 that is 9 is equal to slope into that is 2 by 9 into x plus 2. Now we can cross multiply this 9 to the side. So 9 into y minus 9 is equal to 2 into x plus 2. Or expanding 9y minus 81 is equal to 2x plus 4. Or this can be written as 2x minus 2x plus 9y. Then taking this 4 also to the side minus 85 equal to 0. Or the equation of the li required line is 2x minus 9y plus 85 equal to 0. So we are finding the equation of the line RS which is perpendicular to OP. Now next one that is question number 16. The length L in centimeter of a copper rod is a linear function of its Celsius temperature C. So instead of x and y here it is L and C. In an experiment if L is equal to 124.942 when C is equal to 20 and L is equal to 125.134 when C is equal to 110 express L in terms of C. So uh, while writing it as coordinates the points we can write it as instead of x and y it is uh, L and C or we can write c along x axis c along x axis and l along y axis so the coordinates are 20 comma 124.942 that is one coordinate another one is uh, 110 comma 125.134 these are the two coordinates x1 y1 and x2 y2 now we have to write express L in terms of C. So this is C and this is L. This is C and L. So according to our uh, equation two point form y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Instead of x and y it is C and L. So we can write this as L minus L1 is equal to L2 minus L1 by C2 minus C1 into C minus C1. Now substituting the values L1 and C1, L2 and C, uh, C2 also given. So L minus 124.942 is equal to L2 minus L1 is 125 point this is L2 so 125.134 minus 124.942 divided by 110 minus 20 into C minus 20. Now 
we can simplify the equation. So, L minus 124.942 is equal to numerator is 0 0.192 divided by 90 into C minus 20. Cross multiplying and simplifying or uh, no need of cross multiplying only just we will take this 124 to the other side and write the equation. So, L is equal to 0 0.192 by 90 into C minus 20 plus 124.942 that is the relation connecting L and C. So, only thing is that instead of x1, y1 here we are taking C and L that is the only difference. Now, next one the owner of a milk store finds that he can sell 980 liters of milk each week at rupees 14 per liter and 1220 liters of milk each week at rupees 16 per liter. Assuming a linear relationship between selling price and demand, how many liters he could sell weekly at rupees 17 per liter. So, according to the uh, uh, here it is milk, how much liters of milk and each week what is the amount. So, uh, the points we can represent it as points that is one point is 980 comma 14. Another coordinate we can take it as 1220 comma 16. We can write an equation using this. First we have to write an equation using this. So, what is equation? Equation of a line if two points are given is y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Substitute these points in that. Substituting y minus y1 is 14 is equal to y2 minus y1 means 16 minus 14 divided by 1220 minus 980 into x minus x1. x1 is 980. So, that the equation is y minus 14 is equal to 2 by 240 into x minus 90. Or we can write this as y minus 14 is equal to this is 1 by 120, 1 by 120 into x minus 980. Cross multiplying 120 into y minus 14 is equal to x minus 980. Now, again the question given here is how many liters of milk he could sell at rupees 17 per liter. We know that the y coordinate is 14 liter uh, amount that is how much per liter. So, here we, it is asked how many liters it is being uh, sold weekly at rupees 17 per liter. So, what you have to do instead of instead of y we have to put 17. So, putting y is equal to 17 what we will get 120 into 17 minus 14 is equal to x minus 980. Simplifying this 120 into 3 is equal to x minus 980 or x is equal to taking this to the other side we will get it as 1340 liters. So, hence owner could sell hence owner could sell 1340 liters of milk weekly at rupees 17 per liter. Now, moving on to the next one, P of A comma B is the midpoint of a line segment between the axis. What do you mean by between the axis? This is X and Y axis. So, between the axis means like this way, this is the line and P of A comma B is the midpoint. This is P of A comma B is the midpoint of the line between the axis. Show that the equation of the line is this. So, 
uh, we don't know what are these coordinates so this coordinate since it is on the x axis this is y axis this coordinate will be x comma 0 whereas this coordinate will be 0 comma y and p is the midpoint so then we can write this as this in, since it is a midpoint we can uh, use midpoint formula so using midpoint formula midpoint formula what you will get children x plus 0 x plus 0 by 2 is equal to a this is the midpoint same way 0 plus y by 2 is equal to b or x is equal to 2a and y is equal to 2b so x and y values we got that is this coordinate let this point be a and this be b so a coordinate can be written as 2a comma 0 and b coordinate is 0 comma 2b that means the intercept x intercept is 2a and y intercept is 2b if the intercepts are given how can we write the equation therefore equation is equation of the line is x by 2a intercept form of the equation is x by a plus y by b is equal to 1 here since the intercept is 2a x by 2a plus y by 2b is equal to 1 or taking here we can see that 2 is common cross multiplying we will get the equation as x by a plus y by b is equal to 2 that is the equation of that line now next one point r of h comma k divides a line segment between the axis in the ratio 1 is to 2 so point h comma k divides a line segment between the axis so between the axis means same as the last problem so this is between axis and one point the point here which divides a line segment is r of h comma k it is not the midpoint it is being divided in the ratio 1 is to 2 so but if it is from this side this is the line and this coordinate let it be r of h comma k r of h comma k is divides a line segment between the axis in the ratio 1 is to 2 find the equation of the line so a of this coordinate is a of x comma 0 and this coordinate is b of 0 comma y then what about the ratio it is in the ratio 1 is to 2 1 1 is to 2 or we can write it as here this is 1 is to 2 or this 2 is to 1 so what is the coordinate of r we have to use section formula here using section formula 2 into x this is the way of using using section formula what is the coordinate of r coordinate of r can be written as 2 into x 2x plus 1 into 0 divided by 2 plus 1 and 2 into 0 plus 1 into y divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to it is given as h comma k so that if you are simplifying this we are getting 2x by 3 comma y by 3 is equal to h comma k or from here 2x by 3 I can equate both h comma k it's not h by k it is h comma k so equating 2x by 3 is equal to h and y by 3 is equal to k what is the value of x x is equal to 3 h by 2 and y is equal to 3 k now we got what is the value of x means this is the x intercept and this is the y intercept 
So, x intercept we got it as 3 h by 2 whereas y intercept we got it as 3 k. If the intercepts are known how to find out the equation therefore, equation of the line a b is x by x intercept x intercept is 3 h by 2 plus y by y intercept y intercept is 3 k is equal to 1 or we can rewrite this equation taking the reciprocal we are getting it as x into 2 x by 3 h plus y by 3 k is equal to 1 or if you are multiplying throughout by uh, 3 k h because here h and k is there and 3 is common. So, we will multiply throughout by 3 h k multiplying throughout by throughout by 3 h k we get 2 x by 3 h into 3 h k plus y by 3 k into 3 h k is equal to 3 h k. Then common terms cancel 3 h getting cancelled here also 3 k here 3 k getting cancelled remaining we are getting it as 2 x 2 k x plus uh, h y is equal to 3 k h that is the equation of the line a b ok. Then the last question of that exercise by using the concept of equation of line prove that these three points are collinear we have to use the concept of equation of the line. So, we know that if two points are known we can find out the equation of the line by using y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1. Let the points be let the coordinates be a b and c first we can use the first two coordinates and find the equation. Then the first two coordinates means 3 0 and minus 2 minus 2 using that the equation can be written as y minus y1 is 0 is equal to y2 minus y1 that is minus 2 minus 0 divided by minus 2 minus 3 into x minus 3 or the equation is y is equal to minus 2 by minus 5 into x minus 3 that is that is y is equal to 2 by 5 into x minus 3 or we can write it as an equation that is cross multiplying 5y is equal to 2 into x minus 3 or the equation is 2x minus 5y minus 6 is equal to 0 and the third point here given that one more point is there we have to show that it is collinear in order to be collinear if the third point is satisfied in the equation that is if I am putting a 2 in this equation and if you are getting it as equal to 0 then we can say that they are coming they are uh, collinear. So, that is in the say on that is, is on the same line. So, I am putting uh, the coordinates 8 comma 2 in this in this equation and just uh, testing whether it is collinear or not or it does it satisfy. So, 2 into 8 minus 5 into 2 minus 6 simplifying 16 minus 10 minus 6 that is 16 minus 16 we are getting it as 0. Therefore, the given points are collinear the given points are collinear. So, that is all from that exercise. Thank you for watching my video. Those who have not subscribed, please like, share and subscribe and also click on the bell icon for more updates and notifications. Bye.